Hi, and thanks for tuning in to another Atomic Moto product review. Today we're here to talk about a cool adventure touring jacket from First Gear, the Jaunt T2. Now the Jaunt T2 has been out for a while. In fact, it's sort of a staple item in the First Gear line. But it is one of the most massaged, one of the uh, best bang for buck items in their line. Uh, it's got exceptional value, exceptional features, cool stuff to talk about, and it's all at a really smoking price. Let's get started. First of all, the Jaunt T2 retails for $179.95 as of the filming of this video. It comes in sizes small through 3XL with talls available in medium, large, extra large, and 2XL. Five colors, a gray, high vis yellow as I have here, a solid black, a red, and a blue. So lots of choice for sizes and colors in this particular model. Now the Jaunt is a waterproof jacket. It has a drop liner or a Z liner construction, which means the outer layer of the jacket is not the waterproof barrier. I know that's a downer for some people, but it's still a good effective way to do it and it's great for this price point. Uh, one cool thing that they do is all of the vents actually do not just pass through to the back side of the waterproof liner. They actually do flow air through mesh internally to the wearer. Uh, but anyway, back to the construction. The outer shell of the jacket is 600 denier polyester, which is a very good thing. And then it's got 840 denier ballistic nylon in key areas for abrasion resistance like the elbows and the shoulders. Pretty good construction there. It comes with CE approved armor at the elbows and shoulders, which I have right here. It's a nice, decent size, nice and thick, uh, good feeling armor. They actually come supplied in a pocket. This, uh, this shoulder piece I have here is out. Uh, and this is actually the elbow. But what this does, and, and you can see this clearly, understand this clearly, is by attaching in a, in a separate pocket with Velcro, there's a lot of adjustment both up and down and side to side. So you can really dial in the fit of, uh, of the armor to your particular needs. It works very well, very effective, simple and effective. The um, back armor is not really armor, it's just the foam pad. That's a bit of a downer, but at this price point, it's not unusual, it's not atypical. Uh, you can, however, add a, a CE approved back protector either from First Gear, you can actually also add a D3O, which is available from them or from us, which we'll put a link to here on the bottom of the page. So that's the basics for the armor. Uh, it does come with the typical uh, thermal zip-in, zip-out liner. This is another thing that's kind of a staple in the industry. Uh, you know, it's quilted. We don't really care for these things. We think that they're sort of useless, but they do check off a box on the bullet point list, and so a lot of people have them. One cool thing, though, is First Gear did have, does have the common sense to, to, to finish the ends with neoprene so that it won't wick uh, moisture up your arm, and you can actually see a little bit more uh, snugly around the end of your your uh, wrists, which is a good thing. But in general, these things aren't really as effective as any type of soft shell. So just put them in your closet and use something else. I'm just going to drop this off on the floor. Uh, other details. Well, the big thing about the jaunt is this. The venting kicks ass. Can't emphasize that enough. There are six vents on the front of the jacket. Not only are there six vents, they're actually intelligently placed and well executed. It's not just that they're there, they actually work. There are two here on the bicep area, two here up on the shoulders, and then two um, good sized ones here on the chest. Now what is really cool about these is that when you zip them open or closed, there are straps here that you can cinch down to hold them open. That makes them flow more air. They stay open much, much wider and scoop in a fair amount of air. And these locations are great because they're up above most fairings, so they really do pull a lot of air. Now on the back side of the jacket, I'm gonna try and do this without being too cumbersome here. The back side of the jacket, there are also two uh, zippered vents. They have Velcro closures over them uh, here and they're vertically placed, which is a good thing because they don't get um, compressed, suppressed, covered up by a hydration pack or a camelback. So there's really a lot of airflow that you can get through this jacket. The venting on it is quite good. In fact, it's class leading uh, probably for just about all price points. It's one of the best venting jackets out there. That's a very, very good thing. Uh, let's talk about some of the other details. Well, simple things. It's got Velcro cinches here on the waist, the kind of old-fashioned bell staff style. We really like it. Uh, there's plenty of adjustment, lots of regulation. You can really cinch them down. They're easy to do with one hand. You can leave them loose, cinch them way down. Lots and lots of adjustment. Now, that's a good thing. There are cinches on the uh, upper bicep area and down on the lower forearm. 
the upper bicep one is good because it helps hold the vent open, but it's also good because it cinches the jacket down snugly around your arm to keep it from flapping. And that when you do the above and below the elbow, it helps hold the armor in place. So that really, this is, um, it's out in the open. It's not integrated into the jacket, so it's not as elegant looking, but it's more functional than a lot of stuff you see on more high-end jackets. That's outstanding. The collar is also outstanding. First of all, it's finished with a really nice smooth fabric. It's really soft. Climb should look at this because they don't do a good job with collars at all. And First Gear kicks ass with these. Uh, and it's got a nice adjustment here. You can actually slide the strap back and forth on this little slider so that um, you can customize the, um, the amount of tension that you have around your collar. It's got a nice big uh, flap here for a rain gutter and um, you know, it covers up on both sides. That's a really good thing. Helps keep out the elements, helps keep out the rain. Now, let's talk about the pockets. First gear jacket, this first gear jacket has eight pockets. There are four in the traditional positioning on the front. Too high, too low. They have waterproof liners, but they don't have waterproof flap covers, so I really, really wouldn't trust them to put a cell phone inside. There's a big pocket on the back of the jacket. In fact, we're going to drop a detail shot of that in. Uh, big pocket on the back of the jacket that you could put a sweatshirt in or uh, you could put a rain layer in or um, just about some anything else you know the the liner would fit in it's, it's pretty large uh, inside if we go to the inside of the jacket there's one compartment one pocket right here underneath the flap very easy for access easy to get in and out of and it's got a colored zipper uh, pull on it so that's real nice when you open up the jacket on the inside, there is a large pocket down here, good for holding a pair of gloves. And then another pocket here that is actually intended for a cell phone. So this one is waterproof. You can put an MP3 player or a cell phone in there with a, a device running up so that you can actually hear it and, and you'll stay nice and dry. Uh, the zippers used, good quality zippers. and. Um, I'm going to show you something here. It's a two-way zip. This is another cool thing that they have. You know, it's just a simple little basic thing, but it really helps keep the jacket from bunching up when you're sitting on the motorcycle, right? Um, you know, there's lots of other little cool details. Again, you know, I mentioned the collar. Can't talk about how well executed that is enough. Uh, there's nice reflective details on the arms and um, up here on the pockets and also a nice, uh, nice good one on the back above the elbow, above, it can be below the shoulder, and below the neck. Really lights up very well. Uh, you know, what I want to reiterate again before we get into how the jacket works out in the field is that uh, First Gear, their product team are one of the more meticulous and thoughtful groups of people that we have seen. They do a fantastic job of adding small details and really going that last you know, that last one or two percent to make sure stuff really works. And, um, and where that pays the biggest dividends is on a price point like this. This is a $179 jacket with great venting, waterproof construction, lots of pockets. Works really, really well. Can't emphasize how well they've done at executing this. Let's talk about how it performs out on the bike. Time for the bomber comments. Now, first of all, we have two of these that we put out into the field, but I want to zero in on one guy's experience in particular. Now, we gave him three different jackets from three different brands and asked, them to, asked him to use them all and compare them. And the first gear was by far his favorite. He's a KLR guy, but he rides that thing through everything, literally from whooped out single track with guys on KTMs and quite well uh, to extended fire road uh, touring, riding through the desert, to cruising around town in snowstorms and snow and ice on studded tires. And what he liked about the first gear jacket most of all was simple. It worked across all types of riding, all types of weather. Held his armor in place, opened up well and flowed a lot of air when he needed to vent, and it closed up and sealed up nicely when he needed to be warm and, and keep himself dry. He also uh, beats his gear up and it really passed the durability test. And that's really exemplary of the first gear jaunt. It does everything pretty darn well. 
Uh, let's get to some of the details on that. First of all, the fit. This is an important question. First Gear in general has a bit of a boxy cut on the bulk of their line. Not the TPG stuff, but most of the line is a fairly boxy cut and this runs true to that. It's consistent with that. There's plenty of adjustment though in the waist and on the arms to cinch everything down to fit all body types. That's a good thing. There's also plenty of room in the shoulders and plenty of room throughout the jacket to add layers. That's another good thing. Now the fit of these, they run a little bit large. Let's call it about a half, maybe to a third of a size. That doesn't necessarily mean that you upsize automatically, but it does mean that they run about a half size bigger than you would expect. So if you're in between sizes, you probably want to go on the smaller side. Uh, you know, the, the function of the jacket is uh, something that it, there's almost not a lot to talk about because it does everything well. Can't emphasize how well the venting looks. The placement of it up here on the arms and then two big vents along the chest and the exit vents in, on the rear, they do a great job. Uh, the collar of the jacket seals up very, very nicely. That's something that really drives us crazy. You know, a good product manager knows how to make the collar work. And this is something that other companies should take note of. First Gear Collar is excellent. Uh, uh, another thing is First Gear of all the brands that we sell are one of the best for after sales support. You have a problem, they're really helpful, really easy to take uh, to try and step up and take care of it. A lot of brands we deal with try to dodge warranty issues. Not First Gear, they want to know if it's a legitimate complaint. And if it's a legitimate complaint, they deal with it and they deal with it well. We really admire them for that. Uh, Probably the last and most important thing about it is we can't emphasize how well this jacket does in general. Not for its price point. Just about every aspect of it functions as you expect it to do. It vents the way it's supposed to vent. It seals up the way it's supposed to seal up. It opens up and uh, just using the pockets and everything on it works really easily. It's not as heavily stylized as some other items, but it functions great. And in fact, uh, that's probably the negative about it. You know, First Gear in general and this jacket, they don't have a lot of pizzazz in their brand. Uh, there's not a lot of real excitement in their brand and presentation and design. That's too bad because they do a great job of getting that last two or three percent. They do have some new, uh, new blood in there, some new management in there, and they're really going to work on that. But um, the, the, the good thing, the positive thing is that the basic stuff they've got nailed and it's much, much harder to do that. It's much, much easier to make stuff look uh, more appealing, look uh, more uh, technical, fancy. It's really hard to make it be executed well and they do a great job at that. We can't say enough good things about this, again, in general for the price point. So it is highly bomber recommended. Uh, we hope that that has been helpful for you. We hope that you check these out. We are Atomic Moto, www.atomic-moto.com, home of the bombers. We are mission focused on getting you the right gear for you, your bike, your type of riding, and in some cases, your region. Thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you out on the bike.